हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स सो मेनी नंबर्स आर देयर अराउंड अस यू नो वी कन्फ्रंट नंबर्स एवरीवेयर बट देर आर सम वेरी वेरी स्पेशल नंबर्स एंड द नंबर्स व्हिच मेक द कैलकुलेशंस लुक सो इजी दिस इज अ स्पेशल वीडियो इन व्हिच आई एम गोइंग टू टेक अप द अमेजिंग अमेजिंग नंबर 11 and i'm going to tell you how operations on 11 can be so easy and so joyful all the students whether you are in class 2 or class 12 watch the entire video you are going to have something for your project work also okay so i'm going to tell you how you can manipulate this number 11 and come up with so many different properties whether it is powers or multiplication or addition or subtraction or division divisibility what not 11 is really really special so let's start the entire video and before that let me ask you to please subscribe the channel because we have been providing you some special things which never existed on youtube and that is why we need a lot large audience we need to spread this message around the world that numbers are beautiful and that will help in developing very very positive aptitude and attitude towards mathematics that is our aim so click the subscribe button now and do not forget to click the bell shaped icon so that you keep on getting all the notifications on the channel and now let's get started with the fun the first thing i am going to take up is the powers of 11 have you heard about the amazing concept of pascal's triangle you know this pascal's triangle is somehow related to powers of 11 if i write 11 raised to power 0 then i write 11 raised to power 1 11 raised to power 2 11 raised to power 3 11 raised to power 4 11 raised to power 5 so i can go as far as i want if you know all these powers of 11 they are actually in a pattern 11 power 0 is actually 1 so anything power 0 is 1 Eleven power one is eleven, so one and a one. Eleven power two, look at this, one, one plus one, two and a one, so one hundred and twenty-one. Eleven power three, start with a one, one plus two, three, two plus one, three and a one, one three three one. Eleven raised to power four, start with a one, one plus three four, three plus three six. 3 plus 1 4 and a 1 so 1 4 6 4 1 <laughs> <laughs> isn't that amazing you're getting a pascal triangle this is called a pascal triangle so many times used in the permutations and combinations chapter where you have to find the you know binomial coefficients okay so that's at higher level my purpose is to tell you the beauty of 11 so watch 11 raised to power 5 now comes the real challenge so 1 1 plus 4 is 5 4 plus 6 is 10 10 again and then 5 and then 1 so you are going to argue now how 11 raised to power 5 is going to be 1 by 101051 no here we have a two digit number so what do we do when we have a two digit number so 11 raised to power 5 i will find like this start with the unit digit 1 5 all single digits right 10 is a two digit number so retain the zero carry forward the 1 So ten becomes eleven. So one carry forward the one. So six and one. And there we go. The eleven raised to power five is one six one zero five one. And now you can check. You can even go on and on and find the next power of eleven also. Eleven raised to power six. And tell me in the comments below. Did you understand this? And did you get eleven raised to power six as I have written it here? One seven seven one five six one. That should be the power eleven raised to power. Six. That's the first important thing. The powers of eleven. They do follow a pattern. That's called a Pascal's triangle. Beautiful. One, 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 one. One, two, three, four, five. Then again, see the difference like this, like this, like this. You will find one, two, three, four, five here also. Lots and lots of good things in this pattern. Let's watch something special. Now we will come to the addition part. Do you know when you have only ones? in the numbers like suppose you want to add 1 11 111 111 and 
Okay, and let's leave it here so you can generalize it to any extent. Okay, now we are not missing out on any number, right? They follow a pattern: one, one, two ones, three ones, four ones, five ones. Correct? How many are the total number of ones? I mean, the maximum number of ones? It is five, right? So just write the counting: one, two, three, four, five, and you get your answer for this addition problem. Oh, that's so so joyful, and you know. I start enjoying mathematics, you know, when I put up all these uh, properties in front of you. And this is not all; it is just the beginning, friends. Keep watching the entire video; you are going to learn so many beautiful things about eleven. Okay, now how, what? What is the fun here? Let's take three plus thirty-three plus three thirty-three plus three 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 three. So I'll go only up to four threes. Okay. Now I want to find this. So what am I going to do? Is I'm going to take out the three out of this. And if I take out the three, I'll be left with one, eleven, one, 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 one. Right? So only up to this much. Correct? And so I'll multiply it by what? You know it. One, two, three, four. Because there are four threes maximum. Right? So what is the answer? Three, four, that twelve, two, one carry means ten, zero, one carry means seven, and a three. Three, seven, zero, two is the sum of all these numbers. So. Can you tell me when you do this? Seven plus seventy-seven plus seven 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 plus seven 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 plus seven 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 plus seven 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 seven. What will be the answer for this problem? I think you can do that in ten seconds, friends. Go for it. Put your answer in the yeah, description. Oh, not description. Sorry, chats here. There the comments here. I'll wait for that, and I'll appreciate if you get it right, okay? And tell me the time also within which you could get the answer, okay? Let's move on to the next very very important property that is multiplication. Now I've put up so many videos on multiplication by eleven, and I'm going to generalize it now. See, watch, watch what happens. Suppose you have number like fifty-eight, and you need to multiply that by eleven. I take more numbers like nine hundred and forty-seven, a three-digit number, or for that matter, a six-digit number, six one three two five six times eleven. So you can very easily do all these things once you know the concept behind them, right? So start from here: five, five plus eight, thirteen, and eight. Okay, watch nine, nine plus four, thirteen. Four plus seven, eleven, and then seven. I'm making pairs. Six, six plus one, seven. One plus three, four. Three plus two, five. Two plus five, seven. Six plus five, eleven, and then the six. And now you have all your answers. Eight, thirteen means three, one carry six, seven. Eleven means one. One carry fourteen. Four means one ten. One zero four one seven. What is the answer here? Six. Eleven means one. One carry eight. Five four seven six. Now pick up the calculator, friends, and check. All these answers are going to be as accurate as they get. And what more? Even if there are more ones in the number, you can generalize this. Yes. And what's the magic now? What am I going to do is I'm going to multiply seven three eight four by say triple one. Okay. Now what happens when I do, uh, multiply by triple one? I have to go up to triples. Watch one two three three two one, and that's it. I'll get my answer. Let's check one two. So seven plus three is ten, and then all three eighteen. Then these three. Eleven, fifteen, and then these two, twelve, and then the four. And watch the magic. Four, two, one carry sixteen, six, one carry nineteen, nine, one carry eleven, one, one carry eight, and there we go. I don't even need to check the answer. Eight, one, nine, six, two, four is the product of that particular number by triple one. And I can multiply now. I'll give you a DIY. Do it yourself, question, because you need to practice the, this also. So tell me, four, three, six, five, one, eight. If you multiply that by one, 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 what is the product you are going to get? And I'm sure you are going to rock. 
Okay, I'll just tell you the basics. Take one, two, three, four. Because there are four ones, right? And then start from three, one, two, three, four. Start from six, one, two, three, four. So we have approached eight, then leave one. So three, two, one. That's it. You will have all these numbers separated by slashes and then keep on retaining the unit digit. You will get your final answer. Multiplication by ones and multiplication by 11. 11 is really special, friends. Okay, so I need to insert one slide. So let's do it here. Uh, I'll just have one more slide so that I don't miss out on the fun. Okay, so here we have the next concept coming in. This is the concept of division. And now whenever you know we get concepts on division, students are like, oh, this is going to be tricky. But believe it or not, friends, division by 11 is not at all tricky. It's as enjoyable as the powers, the addition, the subtraction, you know, perhaps more enjoyable. So let's see. Now suppose I have to divide 1 by 11. So it's a, it's a decimal, right? So it has to be 0 point something. Now what is that something? For that, you just need to do the numerator times 9. 9 x 1 is 9, write it as 0 9. So 0 9, 0 9, 0 9 and it goes on and on. Multiplication by 9, see 2 by 11. It will be 0 point because numerator is uh, smaller, that's a proper fraction. Now 9 times 2 is 18 and therefore 1 8, 1 8, 1 8 is going to repeat over and over. Likewise, suppose you have 10 by 11. In 10 by 11, it will be again 0 point because it's a proper fraction. If you multiply this by 9, you get 9, 0, 9, 0, 9, 0, 9, 0 and so on. There we go. And suppose you have a prop improper fraction like 73 by 11. Just convert this in the form of a mixed number. So this is 6 and the remainder 7 by 11. That gives you 6 point something. And just multiply this 7 by 9, it is 7 9 are 63. So 6 3, 6 3, 6 3 is going to repeat over and over again. Isn't that amazing, friends? You're getting such good answers in a so in so little time, you know. So can you tell me? I'll give you a DIY. That is very important. Do it yourself. Can you tell me by using this? What will be 405 divided by 11? So you need to comment here, okay? And tell me whether you got it in minimum amount of time or not. And did you enjoy this, okay? Wow. Coming on to another one. Let's take divisibility. Now, how do you check whether a particular number is divisible by 11 or not? Whew, I think the, at the school level, you know, we study only one method and that method is, what is that method? The even odd method. You remember? I, I, I'll tell you the even odd method. Okay. Suppose you have to check whether 8162 is divisible by 11 or not. So what do you do? You take the first and the third, add them. So 8 plus 6 is 14. Then you take the even ones, 1 plus 2 that is 3. Then you take the difference of these two. If you get a number which is divisible by 11, the entire number becomes divisible by 11, right? This is what is taught at school level. Now watch the beauty. I am going to check whether 8162 is divisible by 11 or not without using even and odd. Let's do it. Just separate out the last digit. 816 minus 2. What did I do? I separated out the last digit and subtracted it from the remaining number. So 816 minus 2 is 814. Let's do it one more time. Separate it out. 81 minus 4, 77. Double it. It is divisible by 11, right? And once you get a number divisible by 11, the number 8162 also is divisible by 11. Should we take one more example? Okay. Let's do 967413. 967413. I need to check whether this number is divisible by 11 or not. So, separate out. I'll do it one step at a time. 96741 minus 3 is 96738. Separate out. 9673 minus 8 is 96. 73 minus 8, 65. 
करेक्ट सेपरेटेड आर नाइन सिक्स सिक्स माइनस फाइव इज नाइन सिक्स वन सेपरेट आउट नाइन्टी सिक्स माइनस वन इज नाइन्टी फाइव ओ माई गॉड नाइन्टी फाइव इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी डिविजिबल बाई इलेवन राइट एंड सो दिस नंबर द एंटायर नंबर इज नो इट्स नॉट डिविजिबल बाय इलेवन isn't that amazing friends lot of good things are there and once you start learning a particular number you study the properties you will find numbers are really really amazing i'll tell you one more thing i'm not yet done <laughs> let's take percentages oh once you know multiplication by 11 percentages involving 11 is going to be so so easy let's take 11% of some number 11% of 653 so Just start from here, okay? Six slash six plus five eleven slash five plus three eight slash three, right? The pairing method which I told you earlier. Start from the unit place three eight eleven means one one carry, and this is seven. Now percentage means divide by hundred. So put a decimal two digits from the right hand side, and now pick up your calculators. Is seventy one point eight three eleven percent of six hundred and fifty three? You are going to be stunned, friends. Your answer will never be wrong. I'll take one more. See, let's take uh, a big number, maybe eleven percent of nine forty three point six two. Okay. Now see, start nine, nine plus four, thirteen, four plus three, seven, three plus six, nine, six plus two, eight, and finally two. Start two, eight, nine, seven, three, one carry means ten. Now where is the decimal? Two decimal places for the percentage and two for this. Four or four decimal places. Put a decimal four digits from the right hand side. Here you have the answer. One hundred and three point seven nine eight three is eleven percent of this decimal. It works the other way round also. Suppose I have a big percentage like fifty six point five percent of eleven. Now again it involves eleven. See, and now still it works. Just start five six plus five eleven six plus five eleven. And then five. So five, eleven means one, one carry. Twelve means two, one carry. And six. Where did you put the decimal? One digit here and two for this. Three digits from the right hand side, and you have the answer. Six point two one five is the required percentage. Friends, I can go on and on, and you know this is not going to end. Eleven is an amazing number, a beautiful number. Just watch all these things, practice all these things. and try to you know extrapolate this try to think all uh, other properties which uh, can uh, uh, be there for this particular number 11 so friends if you like this video do share it with all your friends who are you know looking to develop 10 times faster speed of calculations who are looking to develop positive uh, mental uh, math aptitude and i'm sure this is going to be uh, so beneficial for all of you so don't forget to subscribe the channel and click the bell shaped icon for getting the notifications thanks for watching this hope you enjoyed it all the best